my name is Crystal Fagan. I'm the Curator of Education Programs here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas. And hi, my name is Andy Garland. I'm the Curator of Education Outreach here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas. Crystal, you know what? I think we should do something about a family chain. What do you think about family chain? Family's great, considering we're probably most spending a lot, a lot of, time of time with our family right Especially now. I think. <laughs> Focusing on family is the way to go. Your younger brother or sister, and this is a good thing. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to let you make your own family chain. Uh, we're going to, um, you know, we're going to start off with a template of four. But Crystal, is your family larger than four? I have a big family. Do you have yeah. a big family? I have a big family. So if your family is larger than four, then you're going to have to cut out two templates, right? Or as many as you need. Right. And we're going to show you later how to link them together. Now, how are they going to be able to get this? You know, what, what if they can't find this template? How are they going to be able to find it? Well, this template we're going to provide to you. So it should be associated with this video. We know everyone doesn't have all of the technology equipment needed uh, to do everything at home. So what we're going to do right after this, you're going to see a series of this image pop up on your screen in different sizes. Not everyone has the same size TV, so you can pause it wherever you need to. You can lay a piece of paper right over the TV screen in the size that you need it, and then you should be able to trace it for your children. We're going to show you all the things you need, the tools you need, are very simple. You're going to need scissors, of course you're going to need papers and markers or sharpies or anything like that and that is These colored oh, pencils. Oh, I'm sorry. They're going to need some uh, yarn, right? Oh, you're going to need some string. Yeah, any type any of string. Any type of string. Yeah. Dental floss if you don't have yeah. any string. Any type of string will work. Okay, so what we're going to do now is show you how to cut these cut them out you know and we're gonna do a little bit of cutting out not a lot of cutting out so I'm gonna take my scissors <laughs> and I'm gonna start cutting she's a better cutter than I am well does, we only need doesn't matter as long as you don't cut the head off or the arms okay. that's all I'm <laughs> gonna pretty, do. just have fun cutting out it's gonna be really fun you don't I always say stay outside the line I don't like to cut on the line no, but you should. so Parents, the good thing is it doesn't matter how old the kid is. This is a great exercise, uh, especially if you got a kindergarten or first grade where they're not in school anymore and they would have been working on how to use scissors and how to identify colors. This is going to be a great art, art activity for that. So let them have fun with it. I also think that this is a good time to discuss emotion. How are you feeling about your little brother today? Well, what would, what would that look like? Is he wonderful? Is he happy? Is he sad? Um, it's, a, it's, it's a good way to open up discussion. I think mm -hmm. that's nice too. Mm -hmm. And what colors express emotions? You know, what does yellow mean? What does red mean? What does gray mean? What does black mean? So I think you'll get a chance to really have a lot of fun uh, with this art activity as you do it. Okay, now once you cut out how many pieces you need for your family, the next thing is going to, you can do either coloring first or you can do assembly first. I would suggest that you color them and then assemble them. I would not try to, you know, once they're linked together a little bit different individually, you can color. And we're going to briefly get right back with you and show you what they look like. So now we have our pieces cut out. We're only going to do four just to show you for this example, but you can do as many as you need. And we're going to get to coloring with our Sharpies. But remember, you can use whatever you have. You can use right. regular markers, col Cray uh, crayons, color, yeah, crayons, crayons, color pencils, whatever you have at home. So and, let's get to color. Right, let's get to color. And, you know, you could be like, no, but this is my red. No, this is my red. Have fun with it. Get the color. Okay, parents, we have colored our little people, our family. Our family. Look at our family. Yeah. Which one's you? I think maybe this one's me. I think that's done. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do. So we have our family, they've colored. Now the next thing you're gonna have to do is assemble them. 
So how are they going to do that, Ms. Crystal? Well, I tell you what. If you have a hole puncher at home, what you can do really quick and easy is you can punch a hole right there. Make sure you leave enough room around here um, to, so it's not real close to the end. Kids are going to play with these, and if it's too close to the end, it's going to pull straight through. So make sure that your child or you help your child leave enough space around the edge. Correct. What's another way? To well, if we don't have a hole punch at home, we can actually very gently fold this little arm right here so that it's just in half. And then I'm going to cut a little tiny snip right there so that I can get some string through here. Parents, you may have to do that if you have small children, but you can see that there is a little hole and we will be able to get string through that hole. Oh. Make sure you do holes on the left and the right side. Don't just do one. In order for it to work correctly, as you see the assembly is gonna require you to, uh, yes, have them both. Okay, so we are going to line these up. Uh, let's line them up. All right. And you get to decide where you want your family. Okay, yeah. so we are going to take this is just yarn. Like I said, any string will work. So we are gonna start our very first one. We are gonna make sure it goes through the back. Yes, the like back. this. So the, our very first one that starts the chain is going to be like that. So we want it to go like that. Through the back. Through the back. We're gonna take it underneath and bring it back up this one because this is our first one so we need to make sure that we don't want to see the string so the string won't show the string is on the back and we are going to do the same thing with our second one we're going to put it over as you can see this is a cool art activity because it's going to take time it's not it's not really fast it's something that uh, if you're trying to get your art requirement in, that this is going to require them to spend 10 to 15 minutes or longer on it in order to complete it. So it's a really good art activity that's not something that's going to take two to three minutes to do. And most of us have paper and some sort of something to color with at home. Not everyone has yeah. Sharpies. Not everyone has watercolor. Not yeah. everyone. But this one is so very flexible that you can use whatever... Take you have that, uh, yeah, whatever you have at home to color with. So, in, so you can see our chain is coming along. Yeah. In the back. All the way through. Once again, it's patience. That's the one thing I always tell students. It's called artwork, with work being the key part of it. So you're going to have to put some effort into it. And, and so it's really cool, though, because they can be able to hang this in the living room, in their, in their room. Uh, it can become refrigerator art and hang on the, refri on the refrigerator. So it's going to be fun. Right now I'm just going to adjust these so they have a little bit of space on each side. So if I want to hang them up, I have a little bit left over on the end. So I'm moving them all over. Moving them. All righty. So let's trade sides, mm -hmm. Mr. Andy, and let's yeah. hold up our family Ooh, chain. All right. Continue to check out AMSET's Facebook page as well as AMSET's YouTube channel for more fun art activities that you can do from home. See you next time.